I, 27 male, feel like my marriage to my, 24 female, wife needs to end, but could be wrong. What should I do? Hey everyone. I really don't know where to start, but I guess what I'm seeking from this is some sound advice, and someone to talk to further about it through the whole thing. I have been married coming up on 3 years, and have been together with her for 4 give or take. I think I want, need to leave, but I could just be overreacting and I just wanted to get others' takes on the situation, from an outside pop. Well, where do I start? I feel like I walk on eggshells every day, like anything I may do could cause an argument at moment's notice, because honestly that's how it works a lot of times, no matter the subject. Just last week we got into it because I used I think two more eggs than she had said two in an egg wash for fried chicken, because to me it didn't look like a sufficient amount to do what we needed. I have always had a tendency to fall asleep sitting up pretty easily, due to lack of sleep, quality of sleep, etc. If we're anywhere like in our room, or I've fallen asleep while riding in the car, she'll pinch, hit, smack, spray stuff on me, throw things at me etc. until I wake up and is upset right off the bat that I was sleeping. Our brains most times do not function the same at all due to me being on the spectrum. She just doesn't seem to understand a lot of times that my brain is literally wired so much differently than hers and it causes a lot of clashing on different things. I have tried leaving once before but was brought back mostly due to a guilt trip, countless calls and voicemails from her entire family telling me I didn't have the right to leave, etc etc. I love playing video games, but especially since her old college roommate moved in with us, long story, I only get to play maybe a few hours on the weekends, and even then I have to ask. Speaking on the matter I have to ask for, about almost everything. From taking a nap after work and only sleeping 4 hours, to getting things, clothes at the store, or even different foods at the grocery store. I think I've covered some of it, but most certainly not all of it. I don't have the time nor the crayons to explain everything here. So I would love some input, advice, and most of all probably just someone to talk to. Thanks for reading. You're being intensely controlled by her and her family. It sounds like a nasty life. I'm sorry that this has been your experience. And, she'll pinch, hit, smack, spray stuff on me, throw things at me etc until I wake up. That's called abuse. This is domestic violence. She is an abusive and controlling bully. Her family is enabling her. You need to escape from this woman. Yeah, you're overreacting. You should stop whining and just accept that the rest of your life will be miserable, because. Wait, that's ridiculous. Of course you should get a divorce, you're incredibly unhappy being married to her. Get it over with and get it on with your life. So she's physically abusive and controlling. Yay, you should end the marriage. She sounds like an abusive parent more than a loving spouse. Why would you put up with being treated like you're just an accessory to your marriage and have no value? She is abusive and I bet if the situation were reversed, her family would be telling her to divorce you. Just remember that a partner is supposed to make your life easier, happier not make it a living hell. Simple things like using too many eggs or napping cause you're tired shouldn't trigger her. Any advice on my 27F wife 28F wanting closure with an ex? My 27F wife 28F and I had been together for 4 years. And to sum up those 4 years, we have an amazing relationship, she is everything to me, and she has always made me feel the same. It's important to note, my wife had a tough childhood and sharing her feelings is incredibly hard for her. At the beginning of our marriage she would stonewall and shut down completely. It was almost like her brain couldn't not physically process what emotions are. When we met, she had gotten out of a 5 years mentally, emotionally and physically abusive relationship just 6 months earlier. I know the abuse was two-sided, and they were truly unkind to each other. They essentially broke up one day. My wife got on a plane and that was the end of it. I've always known about this ex and she's always been open with me regarding their relationship and her faults in it. She has my trust 100%. So fast forward, my wife and I get married, we buy a house, and we recently have started talking about starting our family together. A few nights ago she started crying and told me she needed to talk to me, and it's really hard to say and really embarrassing. So we sit down and she says, the entire time we have been together I feel like I've been on this cycle where I am the absolute happiest of my life then I get these feelings when I think about my past relationship and I miss the adventures, and I feel sad for that relationship ending. 
I feel so guilty for feeling these things because you are so perfect and you love me so much and so well. I've never done anything or acted on anything. I just feel like I have never grieved the loss of that relationship. I just don't have closure from it and it's starting to affect my mental health. I feel shocked because this is my first time hearing this, so I tell her she definitely needs to go back to therapy. But I just feel crushed and so scared for our relationship. I'm so afraid to lose her. I don't even know what to say. I want to support her through everything but I'm not sure what that even looks like. Their relationship was so toxic, and ours is so safe and loving. I'm at a loss. Any advice on what I should do or be prepared for? What does closure in this situation really look like? She's trying to open the door to hell. Don't let the devil back in. Have her go to therapy to work through this. Nothing good can come from her contacting an old ex, especially an abusive one. You need to ask her what she thinks closure looks like because I did not get the do a year of therapy vibe and instead got the I need to see him vibes. Did she say she needed closure or that she needed to grieve it? Those are two different things. I unfortunately think this would be the end for me. IDK how long you've been married but it's like the whole thing is built on a lie. I can get it if it were the case while dating but she chose to pull the trigger on getting married while knowing that she was never entirely in it. Closure is something you give yourself. She just wants to pick at the scab of her old relationship and you should make it clear to her that you don't appreciate some of the things she's saying because they indicate she still has feelings there. I would recommend that you tell her that couples counseling is necessary because what she's saying here impacts your relationship, not just her. She doesn't want closure. She wants to make sure the door is open still. You're sharing her heart with another man. Therapy ain't gonna fix that. Can you live with that situation? She's not over the ex and no amount of effort will change that from you. Closure is time and healing, won't come from some magical meeting if they do have one. Sounds as though she rushed into your situation and now the feelings are coming back. It's a pickle and something I hope you both can work through together. Seven months ago, my boyfriend 26N told me 26F he had 20k debt. Should I break up with him? I posted on this community seven months ago about my eight-year relationship being sent into a spiral following my boyfriend telling me he had 20k debt. A bit of backstory. My boyfriend and I have recently moved in together. Before we moved in together, we were having a discussion about the monthly cost of everything and how to budget our money. My boyfriend said it was doable but refused to put his name on the mortgage. This was very confusing for me at the time but things at home were not great so I had no choice but to move out. I knew he didn't have as much money saved as me so I assumed he wasn't ready and thought that later we could just add him to the mortgage so I didn't read into it too much at the time. Fast forward to around 3 months into living together, before he broke the news of his debt, we had a fight about money. I was angry because he was never able to pay for any of the furniture, utensils, decoration etc. I was even more angry at the fact before we moved in, he told me he didn't want to be on the mortgage and I felt like he didn't want to commit to me. When he told me about his debt I was devastated. He had accrued the debt following the death of his mother through the ages of 1822 by gambling and spending carelessly. He told me he was sorting it out and was trying to pay back as much as possible while still supporting our living arrangements. He was adamant that he didn't want mine or anyone else's help he was going to fix it himself. He showed me all of his bank accounts and showed me how he had combined his debt into a credit union account and has started paying small amounts back. Since my last post, my boyfriend has completed a 12-week counseling session to further understand his issues and has been making better financial decisions like selling his car to find something cheaper to insure etc. But this has taken a toll on our dating life. We don't really have date nights and we never have plans to go abroad or plan a staycation. I feel like I am being selfish because I crave these things and want to travel before having kids. I see a lot of my friends posting online about getting married having kids or traveling and I feel like all of this is at a standstill for us. I don't care about the debt because I have my own debts from student loads etc. I care about the lying. The other issue is my boyfriend lied to me for 8 years of our relationship and it hasn't sat right with me since. It's all well and good that he is sorting his debt out but I feel like I can't trust him fully and he might fall into old ways in the future. We don't have any joint finances and I don't think we ever will which also upsets me because I think of us like a team and I would want to share things in life like a house and bank account for bills etc. 
I have found myself wondering what it would be like to have a relationship with a man who is as financially stable as me and where we would be in our relationship but I love my current boyfriend and I feel that if I leave him I will always be left with regret because he is everything I want in a man it's just this problem. I'm unsure if I should break up with him over something that is fixable but the fear of him reverting back to his old ways has stuck with me and I feel that I will always be questioning him. Should I end things? He lied to you for 8 years? That's enough for me. Don't let your life waste away because of his financial dishonesty and irresponsibility. Go out to dinner with friends, go on vacations, etc. My STBX is similar to your boyfriend and in 2022 I finally quit waiting around for him to get his shit together and started enjoying life again. I traveled so much the last couple years, do what I want to do, etc. It's great and I'm looking forward to getting divorced. I literally can't afford to pay for his fuck-ups anymore. It's not worth it. He needs to take care of his debt and you should stop paying for stuff you both use also. The lying would make me want to break up with him. He's living off you since day one. You've given it eight years, time to move on. Keep the house and get rid of the boyfriend. Get a roommate, use a contract to help you with the mortgage. You own the house outright. In my opinion the debt itself may not be a deal breaker sometimes shitty things happen to people and it's worth to stand by them. But the way he got into it this debt is a deal breaker. Gambling and reckless spending? That is alarming. If you add his huge throbbing lying problem, then yeah no. Lying to solve problem, kick the rock down the road is a character trait emo. If he chose this method here, it means he will choose it in the future to get out of problems with you. Can you clarify? Is he on the deed but not the mortgage? Or is he not on the deed, either? Please tell me you did not buy this house and put him on the deed while he is non-obligated on the mortgage.